Hi guys, good afternoon. I hope you're fine. This is Sophie, the elegant child from Uganda. I'm here today in Mbale. You see, this is all elegant region, and I'm in Trimbali Eco Tourist Lodges. It's having a zoo, and I'm here with a tour guide. So I'm walking around. I would like to go and check on the animals today, being a beautiful day and with a very clear scenery. I'm here with this dog, it's called uh, James. Looks like a German Shepherd. Guys, this place is beautiful. And I'm still moving around, so I wanted to check on you guys. But don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel, The Elegant Child, it's always me. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to like. And also you have told me something at the end of the video, guys. This place is so, so beautiful. This is Trimbali Eco Tourist lodges so i'm here with a guide he can say hello to you hello he can say hi hello to you. how are you <laughs> <laughs> i think he's camera shy so he's running away so let us go i'm going to keep showing you everything guys this place is so so beautiful i've been talking hello. about uh, wanale here but today you can at least have a very very clear view hello. of the mountain you see we have a male called Richard, he's the one coming towards us. This is what? Richard. Richard. Yes. So Richard is a male ostrich. Wow. So you can try and feed. Okay. Yeah. Guys, you see, I'm trying to feed this uh, ostrich. You said it's Richard, right? Yeah. It's uh... Wow, see, guys, see. What did it bite you? Give me another one, please. So it eats uh, any kind of grass or it's specifically this? It, it's not specifically. It can even eat a grass because it's a, it's a, it's a bird that can sometimes graze. Mm. So it's a grazer sometimes. You have so, something that you call the color? No? Sorry, he was talking to someone. So you're still telling me? Yeah. So uh, sometimes they graze yes. and uh, they eat uh, cabbage. Mm. That is the so the cabbage the butter guy, the butter guy has brought. Yes. They eat also watermelon. Yes. Uh, yellow bananas. Mm. Yeah. So it is a bird we can call it is a bivorous. It's mm. both fruit, grass, and other things. Okay. Yeah. So even right away we have uh, a crop. But it's a little bit very You mean you can't call it like you call the ostrich? Uh, you can't come here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I say you only call the male ostrich. How about the female one? Ah, uh, a female one has a fish because they are having a male already. Wow. Well, <laughs> I can't. Let me see if I can see here properly. But here there is a picture of them. The black one was uh, Richard. The other one that has refused to come is the female one. It's called what? Gaina. Okay. Cobs are also here. This is a picture of the cob which has refused to come, guys. You see? I always tell you Mbale is a very, very beautiful place. So I want everyone out there to come and visit this stream Mbale Eco Lodges. Alright. Fastest bird on mm. land. So the estimate of them running is uh, 70 kilometers per hour. Mm. They always run with more than a motor motorbike. Yes. So they are so so fast. They're very fast. So yeah. if I sit on them, can I fall off or they don't like anything to sit on them? You, you if you, because uh, uh, it is a saying that uh, they mm. use sometimes for like. Uh, oh my god, this dog is following us. Guys, I fear dogs. See? It's there. Yes. They can sometimes use them for competition. Mm. Uh, so it's like a game. So people sit on them, mm. or, uh, like three of them, then they start running just like a game. Mm. But uh, uh, in according to according to animal welfare, yes. so there is a way that that is a kind of capturing them. Yo. So for us here, we don't use them as uh, uh, those people use like okay. riding them. But the people you just want right. people to see but not mm. sit on them, right? No, yeah. So we are from visiting the other side uh, which is having ostriches mm. and we are sloping down guys. Let me show you a picture. Where are you taking me to? So we are going, I still have more animals now. So yeah. we are going now to the place where many animals are. Huh? Okay. Yeah. So you see? statues of the dinosaurs. 
guys you see the statues and also there is a stream a very very beautiful stream so we are still going guys this place is beautiful oh god this dog is here you please just stop no no i fear dogs <laughs> guys i fear dogs so we are still going with our friend our guide today you get to know everything about mbale this place Guys, I'm already scared. <laughs> I fear dogs. You mean you can't chase it away or it has to follow us? It's a must, it has to follow us. There's no problem. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I fear dogs. <laughs> Brenda! Maybe she's, maybe she's talking and she'll come later. So long as there is security and no one will take her. <laughs> no, he's uh, uh, asking me where Brenda is. Brenda is mature. Maybe she's looking at other things. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the dinosaurs. There are statues and also other animals. We can't get dinosaurs here. <laughs> yeah, you see, this girl is crazy that she's over there. <laughs> Guys, as you can see, I'm sloping down. This place is beautiful. You can't step in only mud. At least there is a path. Yes, if you don't want mud to go on your shoes or step in mud, you see. You're telling me this is what? A T-Rex. A T-Rex. It's yeah. also a dinosaur. It's, it's a dinosaur. It's one of the uh, dinosaurs that we have the dinosaur statues. Yes. So that we have. Um, mm. So um, this was a giant one that used to beat other dinosaurs. Mm. So this was uh, one that the history of pain. It used to be very giant. And is it the one that they manufactured in the Jurassic Park that disorganized everything? Or <laughs> <laughs> guys, have ever watched it, Jurassic Park? <laughs> yeah, there is a one. Yeah. Okay. There is a one. It's a very good one. So that's a statue of it. And what's inside here? So we are going to see some few animals. You see? There are some few animals here, but don't show me snakes, please. Oh, you have to show them snakes. Mm, I see, I won't see it at night, honestly. <laughs> Guys, it's the first time I'm seeing a white rat here. Mm. They have everything, so we are still too worrying, guys. Yeah. You see? They are called albino rats. Oh, I didn't know they were called albino rats. Yeah, they are called albino rats. Okay. They say they are rabbits. They are rabbits here. Yeah. It's going to remove this plastic glass and then we have a look properly. So the body is also here. Okay. When you open one, will it come towards this, us? This one you can, you can come. Okay, here. let's select from here. Mm. You see? Those are small ones. Yeah, those are the bunnies and the mice. Wait, the, what's the name of a young one of a rabbit? A bunny. Okay, bunny. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and this side, which animal is supposed to be here? Uh, here uh, we don't have an animal here. Yeah. yeah so when uh, we, when we want to shift, like we do some maintenance of the Oh, and that's when it so comes can, here. So we can shift them. Okay. That's why we have some opening. I mean, empty ones around. Um, so these are the gene picks. Also, you use in uh, exper uh, experiments. Wow. Yeah. Pigs, yeah? A uh, gene pig. Gene pig. Yeah. It's, so, uh, ah, but this one is very different. Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, their normal size. Okay. It's, it's not the, like, Th That's how they be. They don't increase, no. they don't decrease. No. So these oh, are, these are the these young are ones. The young ones. Okay. Mm. Guys, you can see it. Mm. These are the pigs. Mm. So. What else? So there's nothing there. Nothing here. So still have more rabbits there, These are also other rabbits. Yeah. Can you see? So we have many you, you call this dog? No, that's mine. That's mine. <laughs> we have this cup of It's here, isn't it? Yes, it understands. So here we have what? So here we <laughs> have. Uh, that uh, mole rat, mole or, rats. Uh, but uh, I've forgotten them. how we call them in our local language. We always call mm. them what, mm. Brenda? How do we call these rats? 
in our language come it, is, say. it is here i think the name is here yeah, well. mm -hmm. no in english it might be having uh, the english, english name but i wonder uh, the Gabian post what? But the Gabian post what? I'm not a issue, that's why I'm... Uh, I'm you first called the dog. You called the dog. <laughs> no so, this name is here. Lim Okay. But me, there is that name we call them. In which, in which language is that? It's still Gishu, but you know Gishu has gotten so many. Oh. Yes, I've forgotten the so name. We, we call so what? A dinosaur dish. It's oh, a, it's all about excavation. Wow. So here we can give someone a small thing like a trowel mm. and uh, start digging. Mm. Of course, I don't have a trowel around here, mm. but let me use this as an example. So as you read, some people are already down here. Yes. So we can give a trowel, then the person can start digging. Yes. Uh, because this cover in the water. Bones. Oh, yeah. oh, I always see that in Mijams. Yeah. yeah, yes. So, so it is here. Let me also come and do it with you, yeah. guys. So, I'm also going to do what? We can want to look for the bones. You see, I've got a lid. So, we are excavating. Here we are excavating the bones. Yeah, you, you try to move up to... So those are the bones, eh? Yeah, those are the bones. They're not real bones. They try to mm. to use something using concrete. Okay, uh, yeah, this is artificial. Yeah, artificial. the artificial. Mm. You see, this is other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see here? The, these are joints. These are the joints. Mm. Yeah. So you can have, you see, the horns are here. These are the teeth. The horns. And the claws, these are the claws. Oh, oh, oh okay. The claws of the <gasps> Guys, it's very, very deep. <laughs> it's very deep. I can't, but at least I've prayed. Yeah. And I've gotten to know that you can dig to yeah. get to know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you too. Mm. Oh, no. You are going to step on what? Check on parrots. We're checking on parrots. Yeah. Wow. Someone once told me, not even someone told me, yeah. but there are those movies that we once watched those old, old movies. Yeah. We used to hear parrots speaking. Yeah, I don't know if it's still see, true. Parrots are like, uh, don't speak, but imitate. Oh, they, they try imi to bring out the word that you have told them. Oh. And they can able to memorize like 1,000 words. Oh. Yeah. So they can imitate hmm. and they are not bad birds. They are really very good. And sometimes in some nations, people use them for as security. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because they can let a, a owner of a home know who entered in the home. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so they are very intelligent. Just I would like you, maybe you try to tell it something at least. So, as you see, they are very busy. Oh, I, they I are eating. They, yeah. I don't think that they will try to, because I Guys, those are the parrots. You see, they are busy eating. So even if he tells them anything or try to tell them to memorize something, they can't do it. They are busy yeah. eating. <laughs> they eat watermelon. They eat uh, mangoes. I can see mangoes there. Yeah. Yes, they are called the African gray parrot. Uh, parrot. You see, this is the name. Okay, so we are still moving around, guys. I'm enjoying my day. Yeah. He said one of the parrots is called Siraj, another one is uh, Joan. I have a friend called Joan. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, Mazda. Okay. So, <sighs> James is always so scaring we are going me. To so, we are going to see the camels. camels. Unfortunately, I can't sit on any of them. And it's something I wanted to experience in my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
But they are only sick, they cannot do it because... No, I can't because they are already in their cage. Mm. Mm -hmm. These are the camels. So you can meet uh, Pamela and James. Uh, we have so many gems here. We have the dog. Ah, uh, yeah, I have a and dog. And then another gem, so is a camel. Yeah. Yes. So they are friendly. Guys, you, yes, you see these are the camels. You can yes, still feed they them. They are friendly. They don't bite. You say they can touch on them. Yeah. Can touch them. So one has to get something and try and eat them. Do they eat them? They eat trees, they eat grass, eh? but they eat grass, guys. So this is who? I'm trying to feed it, see? Oh, he pulled all of it. He's getting me another one and I feed gems. He said they are very, very friendly, guys. I didn't know. Oh, it's bringing the neck out. Give me this. Yeah, you can. Ah, they all want to feed them the same, so right? Can also have that one. Ah, they are fighting for it. Yeah, that's also hard one. Wow. <laughs> you mean they like this so much? Huh? Yeah. This is they beautiful, like guys. Brenda, you bring this one. Okay. Wow. Okay, I feed this too. Yeah, uh, oh, I was going to fall down. Yeah. So these are the donkeys. So these are the donkeys. See? Donkeys we have just the pansar. So this is are, just the pansar. They are very good animals. They don't bite? No. See? You can't touch. <laughs> <laughs> there we are in Mbale. Mbale, a very, very beautiful place in eastern region. We are here in Bumboi, in, um, here in the zoo, the one in Mbale, Bumboi. They are donkeys here. They are trying to eat. Guys, you see? You said one of it is called what? Joseph and Sarah. Joseph and Sarah, wow. And also they are camels here. Camela and James. Camela and James. You see, just like their name, Camela. Wow. <laughs> Guys, they are trying to build a fence. I don't know. This place is for what? For turkeys, eh? Uh, no, this is a special private space. Wow. You can see they are trying to put up something like a gate, an entrance point, and I met also my OB. He's there. You can say hi. To me. First, hi. come, 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 come. I want our OBs and all just to see. Yes. So he's Hi. here. It's been long without yeah, seeing him, and long, today seriously. I met you. So let him tell you. Uh, this is Paul Nandege. Yes. I'm happy to meet my OG Sophie. Sophie. Yes. Happy to see you guys. Hello. Happy to see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so it's my OB. We were in the same class, senior one, senior two, and also up to senior four. That's when we departed, guys. Which year was that? That was I started senior one in 2008. Yeah, so we are at this point so of the crested crane. I was ahead of you guys. Yeah, yeah. So, <sighs> these are the crested cranes. Wow. It's a crested crane. It's on the arms of uh, Uganda, Uganda, the pearl of Africa. Yeah. Yes. And these ones are the junior foils. Uh, that's the gene foil. Uh, gene foil, yeah. And these are turkeys. Guys, you see? These are the turkeys. I can show you the gene coil properly. You can have that view. These birds fly very high, guys. We had one at home and they used to just tie their feathers so that they could not fly high. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, okay. So the food they eat, they can they do eat uh, maize bran, watermelon, skooma wheat. Yes. Yeah, and the others, even smaller fish, they can do eat smaller fish. Because majorly they are found in, uh, their habitat is in wetland. Oh. So they stay in wetland areas because they can also fish there by themselves. Yeah, they do fishing by themselves. Yeah, they love to be here. We have two ponds for them, one for drinking water and mm. the other one for swimming. They like like swimming around. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. So that is a, They live comfortably there, like as if they're in swamps. Yeah. Okay. So it's tight to me. Yeah. 
So guys, you are from checking on the crested cranes and he's still taking me around. He has explained everything to me. You know, it's been long. It's been long without me going to the zoo and also I last studied about the crested crane that's uh, that was in 2005 that's when I was in primarily five so today at least he has educated me something about it yes I had to tell you yes, but you have five here. They are I can not see one there but I don't want to go deep into snakes please okay. yes so yes five. it's called the arrow python mm. yes Another one is inside there. That's what the no, now croc dialer. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I think it's inside the water. Yeah, I no, can't it see. Is, it uh, is it's here. here. That's the crocodile. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's there. That's the crocodile. Uh, in English, it's called the Nile crocodile. This place is so beautiful, guys. I won't lie to you that I'm boring myself. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm enjoying my day. Um, yes. Yeah. So, this side is what? I used to... Uh, have you ever watched this uh, movie called The Gods Must Be Crazy? Guys, I think you know that movie. What we used to call that man that uh, Bushman. Uh, and there is yeah, that... Uh, I don't know the part. Yeah, when those guys it. went to no, Namibia no, Desert no, with a woman. And when he was trying to walk something, I uh, had to bite his shoe. Yes. That's how. That's the thing. I don't know how it's called in English, but I'm going to show you. Let me show you. Let me you. See? Let me turn for you the camera so you can see it properly. Oh, we are going inside. Oh, we are going to. Okay. So I'm going to show you clearly that animal, and also tell you its name. There are so many here. Yeah, we have uh, Patas monkey. Oh, it's a monkey over there. Patas monkey. A Patas monkey. Yeah. Hey, Patas. The yes. name is there. His name is there. Yes. And that is the tortoise. We have a tortoise. tortoise. Uh, I thought it was even a rock. No, it's it a tortoise. She has hidden itself. Mm. That's a tortoise. You see, guys? Uh, yeah. This is the tortoise. So, um, this one's a polar monkey. Colobus monkeys, yes. So we call them Colobus monkeys. Okay. Mm. You can see it, it's even eating. So you have Bosco and Erin there. Okay. So, yeah. They eat uh, jackfruit, greens. Yeah, greens. So we go and pass the ball, sweet potatoes. Okay. Sweet bananas, ground mm. nuts. That's why they eat a lot. Okay. So they are mostly of uh, beavers. Yes. They eat both fruits and uh, vegetables. Okay. Mm. So that is that. Mm. And also the arabs here, they are for what? Yeah. So we have uh, again. Uh, I see eggplants, watermelons. Yeah. We have uh, monkeys here, they call them red tailed monkeys. Yes. So they are, they are up. Oh, they're up here. So we have Alan and Julie. Alan and Julie. Uh, named after your old. I hear you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Named after your old. Then here we have a sabo cut. Uh, well, hey. there. At one point I thought it was a tiger. No, it's called a sabo cut. Sabo cut, yeah. They just resemble. It's very big. Yeah. They just resemble like a tiger leopards, but it's yeah. not. Okay. Yeah. Guys, you have seen the Savo Cup. It's very big and when you're very far, you may think it's a tiger. That's why I said it was looking like one. Okay. So up there, do we still have anything? No, you still have just another Savo Cup, just a discord. Oh, meaning, yeah, I can see it. There is it there. Let me show you from here. It's hiding there. It's hiding so you can't see properly. But there is a monkey here. It's called the Babbit monkey. You can see? It's here. It's trying to eat very, very small. 
looks like a baby but it could be aged I <laughs> should okay so you are around yes uh, so this will mark our uh, end of tour wow. for the animals mm. so see you next time when you return like her videos follow her and you come back to this place we love you bye yeah thank you guys but me i'm not done with touring there are so many places here that i'm still visiting maybe for the animals yeah so you've seen the place is so so beautiful i'll have to walk there is also a stream down there yeah so which i'm going to we, show we you shall, we shall look to the stream mm. and then we're gonna show all right so guys we are going down to the stream this dog also can't leave me my god oh we are this side of the stream you can hear the echo of the water you see guys you see i'm going to walk on this you see? we are here watching nature guys see we are showing you how nature is this is in Bale. There is a stream here in Umboy. I'm up here on the wooden bridge. You see? And the water is flowing right from Wanale here. You see? That here. And here it is, guys. enjoyed my tour for those, of, for those of you that are following me you can always come and you are welcome Trimbali Eco Tourist Lodges guys you see the water is just free you can hear the echo I stepped in it it's very clean I know my sister fears the camera but let me just show you she's there <laughs> yeah. so my friend, our guide is here you can say hello I know he told you that was the end of the uh, uh, tour for touring animals is what I'm saying touring animals but a lot is down there but like I said I don't want to go beyond that point I might slide in the water and also some points are very deep you see my brows are also both wet see so I don't want to go beyond that point but we are still moving around they also have a restaurant I'm going to show What's the name of that uh, statue, Dinah? So you didn't even tell me. Priceratops. Priceratops, eh? Yeah. Is it a female? Is it a uh, male? <laughs> for them, you can't tell the but, but just a statue. One of the dinosaurs. That's what we say. Okay. Uh, and also, the red sheep uh, here. The stegosaurus is there. Yeah, another one is over there. Okay. Okay, guys. So that's the end of the what? Of watching of the not the tour. I'm still touring. Come on. <laughs> Maybe watching animals and also statues and also the stream that's flowing right from that mountain flows up to here and up to down there. You've seen, guys. So, guys. I'm going to show you how the restaurant looks like. We are passing this side where the snakes are. But I don't want to look at snakes. I might dream at night and fail to sleep. 
so I'm climbing up the hill but there are steps here the razor path I can't step directly in the mud or soil woo, 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 woo. so uh, and the restaurant hmm. we based on I'm gonna take you back to people can take you there okay mm, so accommodation. but this is not accommodation that is uh, our scariest place oh that's a uh, uh, security Ascari? guard yeah. you know in our local language you call them Ascali yeah. but in English they are called security guards that's where they stay that's their room you know, guys on this side of the restaurant this place looks like a waiting lounge there are also some books here you see guys there is this book called the Jason voyage just on voyage you see when you're chilling maybe waiting for your food or a refreshment you can grab a book here and then you read it let me see if i can spot one and i read it then there is one question by christianity explorer it's beautiful so, Still inside here. Uh, this looks like. Uh, all right. Yes. Bye bye. Thank you. I've talked to them. Yeah, she's going to handle it. All right. So I'm here with her. She can tell you the name. She's a very very good receptionist. She welcomed <laughs> us. You can so ha say well, hello, hello to my friends. Just tell them your name. You tell them this place, what you are. You're just saying hello. Okay. Um, I'm Vivian from Kumbale Eco Lodge. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this side is the bar, and the other side you're seeing is the restaurant where yes. the chairs are. Yeah. And feel free to come. Okay. The things are cheap. Don't get worried. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're very cheap. By the very very yeah. affordable. I've just seen a menu here. Mm. All right. So she'll keep moving me around. All right, guys. So this place is so beautiful. I'm still enjoying over there. There is also like a an African shop. So this is the restaurant she was talking about. Maybe if you have a birthday party, you can sit in a group here. Yes, maybe if you're on a date, you can sit there. You see how the roof looks like? It won't look like uh, the new Kasubi tombs where the kings of some Ugandan tribe here in Uganda are buried. So here there is an African craft shop. You see? There are some shoes here. And this skin looks like that of a tiger, not so. Very good shoes. This represents only culture, guys. There are some earrings here. You see? Some dinosaurs, like the ones uh, we saw down there. Still other earrings. Some African dresses, we call them uh, Kitenji here in Uganda. Some countries call them Ankara. You see, guys, baskets over here. That side is where the kitchen is, and it's out of bound. It non stops. See, guys, this is the place. This is Kuibali Ecologies, guys. Can you imagine? My sister is talking of taking pics of her. She's all, all tired. Let me show you how she's looking like. Very, very disorganized. Brother, don't close your eyes. <laughs> I can't leave my eyes. That's why I'm tired. <laughs> you enjoy the zoo? Guys, I've enjoyed the zoo. He's even asking me if I've enjoyed the zoo. He's <laughs> taking me to where the accommodation is. You get to know how the rooms look like, guys. I don't want you to come all be out there and then you say, how, how does inside look like? Hmm? So you're going to see. You enjoy the view of Wanale Hill. Let me zoom for you so you can see. See guys, this is how the rooms look like. You see? Outside, so he's taking me to Kolobas. Wow. Guys, this place is beautiful. I feel like spending a night here mm -hmm. to see how the bed looks like. 
you see only the curtains represent african culture this is a kitenji like i said we call them kitenjis but these are curtains you see how up looks like you see guys have you seen how the bed is hmm? see very white bed sheets you have your own sandals here see so you don't have telephones here telephones for now they are in, they're in plan but yeah. for now we give you a contact okay. uh, that you use in that information on the desk you see there are also a double switch here another one here so in case you're at church also i love the chairs mm -hmm. there is a flower I mean, what's inside here so this door leads to to the next room the, the, the rooms are connected so oh. in case you come and say you're a family oh. you can have the children on one side and okay. then the parents on the other side okay so this door leads to the next room oh that's why the huts are very close to each other yeah they are joined they are so these joined. beds are joined right yeah they are joined and they can be separated okay so in case you need say the children want to be on different beds we make them two single beds for the children okay yeah. so that's like the bathroom guys let me for show you how the bathroom looks like <laughs> this water. is beautiful. We also have Wi-Fi. You have Wi-Fi. Yeah. Water is uh, the what? The hot water is automatic or? They are heaters. They are heaters in the other heater for this one is in the other room. Oh, so they so just connect switch. for you. Her switch. Yeah, the switch one for you. This is how the toilet looks like. Very clean. See. I love the sink. Mm -hmm. Looks like a drum. Mm -hmm. And that's the mirror. You can see myself recording for you. I want to take this wardrobe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, in case uh, someone is spending a month here, mm -hmm. do you charge them like a lodge, like maybe a fully furnished apartment? What, what? Um, well, if you're spending a month, we, of course, we negotiate. Yes. Because our rate, our rate comes with breakfast and. Uh, access to the zoo yes so and for an individual it's normally a hundred thousand but if it's for a long stay only one, one night yeah for night yes but if it's a long stay we can definitely see what to do you give them a discount yeah. yes mm. so you see you we were showing people around but you didn't tell them what your name is mm, i'm called uh, paul name's are paul musongo yes i work here as guest services manager yeah. Um, in charge of the accommodations, reservations for events, yeah. and also publicity. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Right, so he has told you everything and you have seen the place. So yeah. beautiful. I want you to come to this place wherever you are. I always tell you that Mbale is a very, very beautiful place to stay in. You see, this place is in a mountainous area. Let me say slopes of Wanale. This is the view. You just wake up from your bed. And you see, shh, you see the hill. You see, guys, that's the waterfall. You can even walk. There are neighbors over there. You see, there is a house. Guys, you just come and visit this place. So, this hut was called Colobus. You see, and then the next one is called Daika. Is it Doika? Doika, yeah, that one. You see. This place is so beautiful, guys. Let me even take a pic from here. Guys, you can see this is community. Community of Wanale. Do you see the Wanale view? Do you see that mountain? This side, you see? There is a strip. Can you have a clear view, guys? You have seen? That is Wanale. So... I'm on the slopes of Wanale and this is the community news I can bring you. The people in this community always come to Primbali Recreation Center, but it's called Primbali Tourist Ecologist. So the people in the community use that water. They can use it maybe sometimes for grazing animals. The animals can drink from there. Even the local people can use it for washing clothes. Sometimes they can even boil, you know, when you don't have water but you want to drink it. 
they can boil it and drink and also the people of this lodge they can use it for construction like you saw the other side some people were trying to build you see always updating you with the news all over the world so today we are in uganda uganda mbale eastern region the mountainous areas the land of only black soil where arabic coffee is grown guys you have seen i'm here where the, uh, the path which leads me to the ecologies the place is so so beautiful next time i'm coming to spend here night honestly the rooms are very clean the toilets are very clean for me to spend a night somewhere or in a lodge or a guest house or a, a hotel i have to first check the toilet you saw they were very very clean they have the sandals there is a view of Wanale here which i always talk about so so much next time i'm coming here you see i have to spend a night here i want to see how this place looks at night because today we are only having the view or the day view or the view uh, the day scenery yes guys see restaurant side accommodation side they are cottages like he said the doors lead to each other that's why you see the huts these ones are joined in case you have a family the kids can stay the other side other people also spend the night this side you see over there the same thing this place is so so beautiful guys you have to come and visit guys we are here in the village Wanale still the side of the restaurant do you see the area of view that side where they are so so this place here yeah that is the Mbale industrial park you see when you are in the village and this place is mountainous yes we might be we are on the slopes of Mount of Wanale here yes but it's a hilly place right now where we are standing we are on a cliff you can see an area view of the town that is Mbale city yes we are we are right now we are also in the city but in the village that's why you see they are so many so many trees those ones are the workers they are trying to build something down there some of them are there seated this place is so beautiful just in case you don't want to sit inside the restaurant you can come and grab a bite from here you see so back to me i'm still here let me sit down and take a sip should i call it a sip or have a refreshment guys you see the restaurant when i'm seated here this place is only glass so that you can have a view of the city or the people who are out there guys let me sit down and do something i'll keep showing you guys you see this is the rain it's raining this side and james is over here trying to get some shade you see it's raining so i want the rain to stop and then i go back to town guys you see i'm outside the gate I'm just leaving this uh, Kimberley tourist ecologies. I'm just walking down here and I want to go get a board I see. I'm taking that route. You see the view of Wanale here is so so beautiful guys. I've enjoyed my tour. You know being at home I get so so bored. So when I get some free time I come to such places take off some stress enjoy myself you see guys this place is so beautiful and i'm proud to be from bali guys don't forget to always subscribe to my channel it's always the elegant child from the black side you see all oh, this place is green we are always planting we are farmers we are always planting arabica coffee you see guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to share this video just tell me your comment at the end of the video you see guys and also keep on liking this video guys you see i'm sloping this place is slippy i have to be and i have to be careful i may fall down you see guys 
you are always welcome to Mbale. You can come, I can take you around. This place is so beautiful. See? I'm still going down. I want to go get a border and then go home. The reason as to why I'm having this is because it's too too cold. The rain it rained heavily. The place is so muddy, sleepy. Uh, so I want to get some warmth and you you know in such areas or most places or our villages this area people use border border so much so I'm going to get a border and then it takes me back to town. So you see guys it's too cold. I wonder how the people living here survive. Because right now, for me, I'm freezing. Yes. I forgot to carry my sweater when I was coming. Let's see. Oh, very beautiful. Let's see. So, this is the signpost. Let me show you. This is a sign for Screen Valley Eco Safari Lodges Restaurant in Zoo. Conference Center Accommodation Tours and Exceptions Wildlife Education Center. Guys, you see? This area is called Vomboy. Vomboy and also Namachere. Yes. There is also a booster for network there. So, so beautiful. See? guys so right now i'm standing beside the road i'm waiting for a border to come and then i go to town let me stand here for a few minutes as uh, as i wait for one if it doesn't come immediately i'll just have to walk you can see there is a truck going uh, sorry coming this ends you see people who are staying in, on top of the mountain or on top of the hill, they use trucks, it's only trucks that reach there. When you use these other cars, sometimes it's very hard. Yes, you can reach, but it is difficult. It needs trucks to reach that place. And also boda bodas or motorcycles. Yes. So if you see a coming, Brenda, should we uh, walk or we wait for a border? Oh. My sister said we walk because standing here doesn't make sense to so let us walk. Right now I'm on the road walking. Ah, guys, just come and experience what I'm also experiencing right now. This is Mbale. It's always the elegant child, guys. Mm. Let's see. Guys, as you can see, I'm beside the road here with the border. I've spotted one and uh, we want to board and we go home. He said it's only 2,000 to reach town. Like I said, it's a village but within the city. Yes. Let me hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to Always the Elegant Child. And don't forget to like this video. Guys, I'm stopping here. See you next time.